The Service Mate add-on for Client Insights is available under Settings, Service Mate add-ons. This add-on is still listed as a partner review, so it is basically in a beta state and is not readily available for users to enable on their own. Please seek your partner or ServiceMate support to enable this add-on. Once the Client Sites add-on is enabled, you will then be able to go to Clients and see that the Site Wizard is available. As well as when you open any client, you will see that there is now a Sites tab for you to enable additional sites for that customer. There is generally two ways of using the Client Sites add-on. I'm going to create a new customer. This will be our parent client record. Okay, so I have this client enabled here. So here's our parent client. I'm going to open that client, go to Sites, and create a new site. Site 1. And we have that site created. I do have customers who provide feedback that they get errors when doing this. However, the site does save. Uh, if you were to close this client record and reopen it, you would see that that would be saved. I can hit view and it will open this new site record. And if I close these records, and let's take a look at more records in our list, we have our site one listed under parent client. Um, if you notice as well, the icon preceding it is different than the rest. So once you have sites enabled, your parent customers will have this looks more like a person type of icon where your site looks like a building record. When you look at it in the list, I will see parent and client. I'll, I'll see the parent name listed below the site name. Now if I go to the dispatch board and create a new job, and I can just simply type in site, and I'm going to see my site one record come in. I just typed in site because that's the name of my site in this example. I also see that the parent client is listed here. So I always see the parent client name listed. So I always know if this site is under that client. This can become especially important if you have sites that are being serviced or being billed to different entities at different times, depending on what the situation is. So if I were to create this job under this customer, I, it is automatically going to populate the job contact from the primary contact of the site and the billing contact from the billing contact of the customer record. Now let's try the other way. So I'm going to create a new job like I would normally. I'm going to call this site2 for this customer. Site2 doesn't exist so it's going to be a new company. And I'm just going to save this record. Saving a job, if that site doesn't exist as we know, will automatically create the customer record. So I have site two, and as you can see, site two is a complete customer in and of itself. But I want to put it under our parent client. So I'm going to go to our site wizard, choose the parent company we're going to use. So I'll select our parent client for this example. Now select the site we want. We're going to do site two. Notice it only lists client records that to grab, so my site one does not show here because it is already a site. I say add. If I had additional ones, I could keep searching and add additional. And next, it will relay what, what it's going to do. If I had additional customers to do, I can turn this on and it will take me back through this process, but I'm just, I'm only doing this one. Next, and I'm done. So now if I bring up my parent client and I look at my sites, we see site one and site two. The big change, however, is look at my job for site two, and I'll notice, unlike our previous example, we have no billing contact. We want the billing contact from our parent client. So what I need to do is what I call restamp the job. Because when this job was created and this client was created for site two, that billing entity had nothing to do with the job. So we need to update the job to reference the updated relationship to the parent client. To do so, all I need to do is go to Customer, hit Edit, and I'm just going to take the two out and put it back in to just re-enter the client information. And I'm going to select Site 2, which is now seen as related to the parent client. When I do so, Nothing changed with the job contact, but I got my updated billing information from my parent client. I save, and everything is now updated. 
the big thing there is I can work with the client site add-on in two different ways. I can proactively go to my clients and add the sites in before creating the job, or I create the job first, go to my clients, attach that client as a site, and then update the related job to reference the updated relationship. Each one has their pros and cons. Depending on your workflow, one may be work, work better than another. And for others, you may have to do a mix. You may always know your clients' uh, sites before you create them. Other times, there may be a, a random instance, or, or maybe this is you in general, where that call comes and you're taking the information in real time. And at that case, it may be easier just to go ahead, create the job with the site information, and then afterwards take the, the few seconds to go to clients, connect that up to the parent, and then restamp the job to update its related information. Client Sites is a really powerful add-on, and the biggest thing is just understanding how it works, and I hope this video helped.